What's going on everybody? A little cool update that I figured out here. Figured I'd show you, right? Um, so if you open up your Farming Simulator 17 folder, you'll see a little file called SDK. It's a folder. Open that guy up and you want to double click on Giant SDK panel. What that's going to do is going to open up this little window here where you can install Giants Editor, which it's the old Giants Editor. It's like the 7.00 uh, some things. But anyways, right, this is, an, this is actually an editable XML document. And it's under Giants SDK panel. And here you go. It's the background image. So if you want to go through and edit the background, you can. Uh, I didn't see anything in here about not editing the code. I guess as long as I don't release anything or, or, or sell anything. But it's got hover buttons. So And then here's an actual XML file right here. So this XML file, you can change everything in here except for the blue uh, brackety stuff. Don't change that one. It'll stop working. I've played with everything in this file already. Um, but right here, see button type executable it starts running that win um, the actual giant editor and then here you go you got modding for dummies handbook it'll actually open up that PDF uh, this will this link will t will take you to farming simulator mod hub well you can go through and edit that and essentially what you do is you create your own you can make your own little modding companion is what I'm calling mine uh, this is just for me. Uh, basically, what I got here is here's a link that goes to the newest Giants editor install. Uh, here's an i3D. It goes a link to the Blender, so I can keep up to date with all the downloads. Here's a link to some a uh, bunch of modding tutorials that I have in case I forget anything, which happens a lot. Uh, this is the modding for dummies handbook. I've been learning maps lately, so that's really useful for maps. It's not too. I haven't. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there, but not a lot for vehicles and stuff. Um, here is a link to the newest paint install, right? So you you click on any of those, see, and it'll hold on while the installer opens. No, I don't want to install it, but it'll start installing it for you. It's actually on the SDK itself, and then down here I made some some quick links so I can click on this and my Giants editor will open up if I want to make a new file I can click on this little guy right here and it's the little lizard that's my notepad right so that'll open up my notepad boom opens it up and then there's my FS 17 log that'll open up my log so I can ch check for any errors I have um, Whenever I'm making a mod, a lot of times you got to go through and write you, you write your description in English, but you need to translate it for other uh, languages. So you click on language translator, and that actually takes you to Google Translate really fast. Uh, basically, I've been trying to minimize the amount of work you do into making modding and make it easier for myself. Um, Lua files. As I find new Lua files, uh, I put them in here that way I have a good clean I know these Lua files all work and I can just copy and paste out of here into the mod that I want to make uh, what was it what other cool stuff what other cool stuff that I added into this uh, so Giants originally came with a motor calculator inside that SDK uh, file so if you double click on that XML file inside of there it says motor calculator it'll open up a little Excel spreadsheet that shows you how to calculate motor it's kind of confusing at first until you understand it but and then it also in there has category types type description types and these actually just open up you know these are all the different categories you can make a mod for um, lights and beacons these both go to uh, guides on how to install it right next to that I'm gonna have the actual code just so I can have a quick reference code so I click on a here's a good example motor config example so what this does Oh, I didn't open it up with my uh, XML document. I'm supposed to open it up with my XML. Anyways. But I take the file and it has all the... I still got some editing to do. It's really simple to play with this. I 
took a whole bunch of different engines that I know how they run and stuff and I copy and pasted them in there and I went through and broke down every individual part of the motor, what everything means, max RPM, norm torque, uh, the, the torque scale, the brake force, I went through and every single one I found out what they mean and I write in there. So then it makes it 10 times easier to design up a motor. Now that's pretty sweet, right? Then I have collision masks, uh, specs and functions, how that works, vehicle types. Uh, I click on this link and it takes me to my private Facebook group. Uh, some other ideas that I'm going to do for this is I'm going to have a bunch of wheels, lights, parts, mirrors, uh, crawlers, anything that I use on mods quite regularly that I have to go open up another mod and get into and bring it into there. I just want to make this to be a fast modding little program and I don't think I can release it because this is actually Giants SDK. Uh, I don't know what their rules are but I don't want to get sued so uh, I, I might put this on the beta folder just so you know if you guys want to play with it a little bit uh, you can kind of see how I did that um, but hey thanks so much for watching and if you didn't know you could edit that it's really really simple if you know a little bit about modding already you can go into this code and understand what's going on uh, it's pretty simple the position this is your X and your your X and your Y and your Z axis if there was another number right there so it'd be Two three, uh, sorry, two hundred and thirty X. You got me. You got me right there. Okay, I'm good now. Uh, so that's it for this video, guys. Hey, do me a favor. Give me a like. I appreciate it. If you guys uh, thought this was cool, let me know what you think. What other things I could add to this uh, to make it more useful and stuff like that. Who knows? Maybe Giants will like pick up the idea and get with the pace because their SDK needs some work just because it doesn't it doesn't offer a lot it's not updated it doesn't have the right files in it i mean but anyways thanks for watching hit that like button hit that subscribe button i will see you guys next time later